130 years ago, the Civil War began in America. Tonight, BBC Two begins the epic documentary series, already watched by 40 million Americans, which tells the dramatic story of a bitter and bloody war that nevertheless united the states of America. The first program looks at the causes of the war and the issue of slavery. No day ever dawns for the slave, a freed black man wrote, nor is it looked for. For the slave, it is all night, all night forever. The Civil War, tonight at 8.20 on BBC Two. In just over 15 minutes, Wainwright, or rather A.W. as he'd like to be known, will be striding into view for the last programme in the series that followed the famous Fell Walker on his journeys in the North Country. First on two, we go over to the newsroom and join Moira Stewart for a summary of the news. Tonight's headlines, the biggest teachers union has voted to boycott tests for seven-year-olds in England and Wales. Members of the National Union of Teachers ignored advice from their leadership and voted for the ban. The leaders of the African National Congress and in Qatar are trying to end the fighting between their supporters. And the firefighters in Kuwait fail again and again to put out a burning oil well. Good evening. Members of the largest teachers' union, the NUT, have voted to boycott tests for seven-year-olds due to be introduced in schools in England and Wales after Easter. Delegates at the annual conference in Scarborough took the decision against the advice of their leaders. Labour's education spokesman Jack Straw called the move indefensible, and the Department of Education has warned that teachers who refuse to carry out the tests would be breaking the law. The testing of primary school children, already underway in Scotland and about to start elsewhere, has caused deep anger and frustration amongst teachers. They believe the tests, known as standard assessment tasks, or SATs, will disrupt normal teaching throughout the first half of next term and will be of no educational value. The union leadership also opposes the tests, but believes a boycott would be a mistake. But others said the leadership was out of touch with feelings in schools. They'd find NUT members cheering along the parents and the teachers in Scotland, thousands of whom are successfully boycotting tests. This union has a responsibility to defend teachers who want to make that choice, who want to say no to SAT. The call for a boycott was carried by a four to three majority. The leadership will now campaign to win support for action from all teachers and from parents. In many ways, parents should welcome the fact that the tests aren't going to go, go ahead because by not doing the tests, then teachers will be able to get on with the job of teaching. And that's much more productive for the pupils than administering these tests. Despite this vote, disruption may not be widespread. There'll almost certainly have to be a national ballot of union members. And they may be unwilling to take action which, unlike in Scotland, would almost certainly be illegal. Police in Northern Ireland are still questioning several men following the murder of two teenage girls and a man last Thursday at a mobile shop in Craigavon. They are also asking, asking them about the killing of four Catholics earlier this month at a pub in Capper, County Tyrone. It's thought that four men are being questioned at Gough Barracks in Armagh after being arrested in a series of police raids late last night. The RUC...